as you can imagine, guys, Mum was very proud and Chris was designed by Joe and ruined a $900 microphone in the water. Never mind. Brooke is joining us in the studio right now and he's a basketball player and he's yes. got some skills. Some skills, basic skills. Um, the coolest thing that we can do is spin the ball on our finger. This we gotta see. It's pretty basic, but I'm sure we can we can do it. So it's it's that easy, and we're gonna get Aaron to somehow learn how to do it. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you what? start with in your hand uh -huh. like that on your under. Uh -huh. Are you left handed or right handed? Lefty. Okay. Oh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. <laughs> Well, it must be the same thing. It has to be the same thing. I like spin on this finger. So you just throw it up and then you somehow get underneath it and you just keep letting it spin. And that's the easiest way that I can explain it to you. And then you gotta hit it eventually. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Right. I'm practically just throwing it up and spinning it. You can catch the ball Ooh. well, that is good. Hey, so obviously you're amazing at basketball. You just got back from China. How's that? It was awesome. Um, China is pretty much as as crazy as it can get. You see everything and there's so many people there. Yeah. Um, but it's one of the coolest things you can do. And they're crazy about basketball, crazy about basketball. So you kind of go to the games and there's like thousands of people waiting to like let you into the courts and there's police escorts and it's just crazy. Wicked. It was. You're like a superstar over in China and a superstar in Nelson. You've been playing for the Giants. Giants, Giants was awesome. I love the Giants. It's a real nice community and Nelson's the nicest place. So like just to spend a couple months there was was real nice and everyone's so good too down there. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Right, we came into one of your yes, games. Yes, and it was, was like, very good. And we won. Brooke. <laughs> hey, so what is the dream for you? Uh, I guess the dream is, my dream was to always make my mum never have to work. So to do what you can to make mum not have to work. Oh but my But she's still working, goodness. so we've got a whole lot of work to do. Okay, so you're just blowing everyone out of the water. That's amazing. That's a really nice thing to say. Um, so, yes. free time when you're not doing the basketball thing. Yes. What do you like to do? Uh, I like to spend a lot of time with my friends, friends and family. I don't get to spend much time at home because I'm always away. So when I get to go home to Wellington, spend time with mum, spend time with friends. Um, Movies. We spent a lot of time eating junk food. <laughs> just basic stuff. But I got real good friends, so yeah. I'm pretty lucky. Oh, cool. mm. Shout out to all your buddies. Um, now, what school did you go to? St. Patrick's Town, right Saint. by the airport in Wellington. Okay, well, you guys, if you haven't entered our top schools competition yet, this is the final week to do so. Anyone actually want to enter? Here's how. Is your school the best school in the country? If you are in year 7 to 13 and think you go to the best school in the world, then head online and tell us the top 10 things about it. Like if you have a wicked dance crew or your fashion class is having a fashion parade on. Your cooking class wants to set Mike a challenge or you have the best cultural group, artist, musicians or comedians ever seen. If you have 10 cool things at your school we could film and wow other schools with, then we want to know about it. So get online and fill out the entry form at tvnz.co.nz forward slash Erin Simpson. Four schools will then win the opportunity to showcase their school and students to the whole nation with their very own half hour TV show. So find those stars amongst your school and jump online now.